In this video, we're going to graph the indifference curve for u, utility equals a natural log of x plus y. So here's our utility function. We're going to graph the indifference curve for utility equals a natural log of 20. So we want to find all combinations of units of good x and good y that will give this consumer a level of utility equal to the natural log of 20. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set u equal to the natural log of 20. And then we're going to exponentiate both sides of the equation like this. And the left-hand side will just simplify down to 20. And the right-hand side of the equation will simplify down to x plus y. If we solve this equation, for y, y equals 20 minus x, and that'll be the equation for the indifference curve. So again, the indifference curve equation is y equals 20 minus x. And now let's get some points on the indifference curve. If x equals 0, plugging 0 in for x, y equals 20, and we have the vertical intercept of the indifference curve. And if we set y equal to 0, this time set y equal to 0 and solve for x, x will equal 20, and you have the horizontal intercept for the indifference curve. And we could pick another point here, if x equals 10, plugging 10 in for x, we see that y equals 10, if we plugged 5 in for x, y would equal 15, and so on. And we could just verify that any of these points gives us a utility level equal to the natural log of 20. So in this last case here, if I plug 10 in for x and 10 in for y and calculate it, utility does indeed equal the natural log of 20. So in terms of what this indifference curve looks like, it is a downward sloping straight line. This is an example of perfect substitutes. So here is where x equals 0 and y equals 20. Here's where y equals 0 and x equals 20. And here is where x and y both equal 10. And again, this line here shows all combinations of x and y that give this consumer a given level of utility equal to the natural log of 20. All right, that's it.